I wonder how my previous video is going. Why are you playing on Scratch? I'm pretty sure people want more levels. I think you might be right, Wordson. I think you might be right. Hey guys, what is up? I'm actually in the early stages of being a bit sick again, so I'm sorry if I sound a bit croaky, but I want to record this quickly while my voice is still a thing I can use. Anyway, back to the video. Yeah, I'm doing more bloody levels. Come on guys, bloody hell. Although I've already got all the code and game logic down, so it would only take like a few hours to redesign the level and bam, we'd be done. But this is kind of boring and I wouldn't really learn much or have much to talk about. So I decided that I wanted to find a way to make my programs more accessible to you guys. Currently, in order to run any of my programs, you first need to go to my GitHub page, find the correct repo, download the code, then go over to processing.org and download and install processing. Then open up the code in processing and finally you can click the play button to run the program. So yeah, um, that needs to change. My first idea was to create a game and AI in Unity and then release the game on like Steam or something. But rewriting the code and stuff in Unity would be a pretty big job. I'd have to learn how to use both the Unity interface as well as how to code in C Sharp. Also, I found out that releasing a game on Steam costs like $100, so no dice. <laughs> and this was also kind of a boring solution. Then I learned about this thing called GitHub Pages, which allows you to basically have a website on GitHub for free. I would have to rewrite my code in JavaScript and I've never really touched it before, but I figured it out. Okay, boring stuff out of the way. Now, in order to run my programs, you just have to click a link and bam, all it costs me was my sanity. Ah, so many this dots. Of course you would have known about this if you followed me on Twitter. <clears throat> um, so yeah, very nice. Wait, why am I here again? What am I doing? Oh, right. Whoa. So more levels there shall be. So the first problem I faced was I actually had to get to the next level. Here we go. Ah, no. Ha, huh, I made it. I'm just admiring the collision detection on this game. Look at that bloody gorgeous. I see why Scratch is such a widely used platform. Okay, moving forward. The main difference between the first and second level is that you first must collect a coin in the middle before you can win. This wasn't very hard to implement. I don't know what I'm complaining about. So here she is. Beautiful. All right, let's start the evolution. I kind of messed up with the fitness function on this one. Quick reminder for people who don't remember, fitness function evaluates how good a player is. That's how likely it is to reproduce. Fitness function I used uses a straight line distance from the player to the coin, then the distance from the coin to the goal. Of course, if the player gets the coin, then it's on the distance from the player to the goal. Okay, what does this mean? This means that the player are encouraged to go straight for the coin and get as close to the coin as possible. But a better strategy is going along the wall, and that way you can avoid the dots a lot easier. I could have changed the fitness function to reflect this, but I thought it would be interesting to see if they could do it by just going straight through. It was for science, I swear, and not because I just couldn't be bothered. I had to increase the population size and also reduce the frequency of move increases in order to find a solution. But after 123 generations of learning, they bloody made it. Hell yeah, mate. All right, next level. <laughs> no. Mm. Ah, yeah. Okay, I made it. <laughs> a neat thing about playing this game on scratch is that if you wait long enough, something is bound to break. This is actually amazing. The dots travel at different speeds, so they end up on top of each other, which makes it a lot easier to slip through. And here we go. Hell yeah. Now we just need to get back. Ah, shit, wait, what? What? Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> what a piece of <laughs> Okay, a noticeable difference between this level is the dots don't just bounce, they follow a path but no, again, wasn't too hard to implement. And here it is, boom, beautifully. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the dots move actually at exactly the same speed and thus remain equidistant. Bloody brilliant, isn't it? Man, the things technology can do nowadays. 
I initially thought this level would be really easy for the AI to learn because it's such a small level. But one thing that I found out is that this AI has zero patience. And this level requires you to wait until the gap reaches the top left. And once they have reached the coin at the top left, it needs to wait for the gap to come back around so it can come back down. Look at this little guy. Poor fella looks like he's had six too many Red Bulls. Mate, mate, settle down. You just need to wait for a bit. Just a little bit. Settle down. He must be so bored that he has to resort to repetitively killing himself for entertainment. I mean, it's relatable really, we've all been there. Okay, they figured out how to do nothing for a bit. Fantastic. And now they should get the way back pretty easily, I think. Yeah, very nice. Okay, and that's all the levels I've been bothered doing. I would suggest checking out the programs yourself. They are just one click away now. Uh, look at this, what amazing stuff you can do. You can fiddle around with some values such as population size, mutation rate, and how often, and the amount of each player move increase. That was a mouthful. Just have a go, you can even play yourself. See if you can win, I, I don't know. Do, have fun, go nuts. <sighs> What else did I want to say before this cold gets the better of me and I turn comatose for the next few days? Oh, we hit 200 subscribers! Woo -woo. Hell yeah! That's amazing, guys. Thank you so much. I don't know what you're all doing here, but you are very welcome. Although I did actually miss the 200k point, like the tick over, uh, because I was asleep. I also missed the 100k milestone because I was asleep. But you can bet your hat that I will stay up all night for this next one. Oh, what is the next one? Toot fitty? Is that, a, is that a milestone? 250k? Yep, well, I'll, I'll be there. Don't you worry. I will, I will see the 250,000th subscriber. I will shake his bloody hand. Or her, or her. I know it's statistically unlikely, but it could be a her. Sad. <laughs> so yeah, 200k. Very nice. Um, yeah, so if your excruciating hunger for more levels hasn't been satisfied, let me know and I can still do more levels. Some people want me to do the entire game. I, I, I doubt I'll do that. That's, that's a lot. There are like 30 or so levels and then there's multiple games. But uh, you know what? You guys keep watching them. I'll probably keep making them. I don't know. They can probably be like a background series to my channel. So while I do other things, I can just pump out a few more levels here and there. I don't know. T tell me what you think. Uh, yeah. Bye.